What's going on everybody? It's Divine here. I'm coming at you with a new series here along with my Rags to Riches series. Uh, this is going to be focused on Wilderness Slayer. It seems like a lot of these guides out here are really, really old. Uh, most of them from 2017. So I kind of want to show what has changed and new approaches to take towards these Slayer tasks. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be looking at Anku and how to kill them. Alright, so let's go over real quick about the information of where the Anku are located. Uh, the first spot is going to be the Rev Caves. These guys are going to be level 98 with 100 HP, uh, the max hit of 10, and they're going to be a multi-combat, guys. Some other information you're going to need to know is these guys are currently in Wilderness level 34 to 37. Uh, the threat of getting PK'd in the Rev Caves, I'm going to put it as a high. Um, but to kill them, I would recommend range with prayer and also a cannon since it is that multi-combat zone. And to get to the Anku here, uh, I would recommend using a burning amulet. Uh, it's not always the safest approach just because people do like to camp at the Lava Maze, but you would teleport to the Lava Maze, which is 41 Wild. Uh, you would run east to the Rev Caves. Uh, there's an entrance there. Uh, once you go into that cave entrance, you would run straight west until you basically reach the Anku there. As for the second location, they're going to be located in the Forgotten Cemetery. Uh, they're going to have a level of 86 with 70 hit points and a max hit of 8. The downside to this location is they are not in multi-combat, but you can safe spot them. A little bit more information about this spot, it sits in between 28 and 31 wild. I put the PK threat as minimal because you can box out an Anku if you need to if someone's trying to attack you. Um, you also have a teleport that's pretty easy to hit and most people don't really log into the spot that I'm going to show you. Um, as for fighting them, I w again I would recommend range with a cannon. Uh, it's probably the simplest way to do this task. As for getting to this spot, the best way I recommend is actually taking a stamina potion and just running straight from Edgeville. Uh, this is probably the safest approach to do this task, um, especially when you have a cannon on you. You can use your burning amulet if you want, um, but there is always that chance that you teleport straight into a PKer. Um, when you're running straight up there, you can kind of see if there's any PKers around and easily log or teleport if you need to. Alright, so let's kind of go over an overview of what we're going to be bringing out there. Uh, as you can see in our inventory, we're going to have the looting bag. Uh, I bring in the enchanted gem just to show you guys how many I have left. Uh, you don't necessarily need to bring this. Um, if you feel like you need to constantly know how many you need to kill, go ahead and bring it. Um, other than that, I'm going to bring the cannon with 500 cannonballs. Uh, I feel pretty safe out in the location that I go to, so I usually feel safe enough to bring about five to 600 cannonballs. Uh, you will also see that I'm bringing manta rays and carob wombs. Uh, I do this because you never know if you're going to get teleblocked and screwed over by a PK or so. It's always nice to have a little bit of food, and since I have the looting bag, I don't really need a lot of inventory space. Just because I'll always have it. And then as for our current setup, we're going to be bringing a rune crossbow with broad bolts and full dragon hide. Uh, I also have the amulet of glory so I can teleport out in a pinch, uh, especially if you see a PK, you can at least get out of there pretty quick. So without further ado, we're going to go over to the Forgotten Cemetery and I'm going to show you guys how to kill these things. Alright, so we're coming up here onto the Forgotten Cemetery. I've already marked uh, a couple tiles of where I place my items. Um, as you can see here, guys, uh, that first one that I'm clicking on is where we're going to set up the cannon. Uh, this cannon's going to be able to reach the most. Um, one thing to note here at this location, you are going to be surrounded by some ghosts and skeletons. So you will be wasting a few cannonballs on these. Um, they're kind of annoying. Uh, also, behind this is our safe spot. Unfortunately, it's not always safe. Uh, there is a skeleton that spawns right next to here. Uh, but most of the time, if you have a decent enough range level, you can one or two shot him. Also, your cannon's going to help you out. But as you can see, we can shoot straight over the coffin here um, and just let our cannon do the work. Uh, this is where I will stay for the rest of my task, constantly look out um, for p PKers. Typically they like to spawn to the north of this area, so it's pretty easy to kind of get into a boxing match with an Anku uh, if we need to, and then just teleport out. Um, this is a good escape route, guys, so if you want to see how to escape some PKers, um, I could do a vid video later on, uh, so just let me know if you're interested in seeing something like that. But we're going to go ahead and cut over to the Rev Cave location so I can show you what that that looks like. Alright guys, so this is going to be the Rev Cave location out in Deep Wild. Um, 
I didn't bring any equipment just because I don't trust myself and like I said before I am at a level where most PKers can attack me so I didn't really want to risky items but I did want to show you guys kind of what it looked like. Uh, this is a big area, very very open, um, great if you want to bring out the cannon um, and just pray uh, range all these down uh, they will kind of scatter back towards the wall depending on where you're standing but it is an easy way to complete your task um, like I said I don't really recommend it just because there are so many PKers and especially with the new uh, RuneScape update uh, they do allow everybody to just switch worlds as much as they want so this has become a very dangerous spot and I try to stay out of the rev caves as possible but I just wanted to give you guys a kind of a preview of what the area looks like Alright, so that's all I have for you on this task, guys. Uh, feel free to use melee or mage as well. I just find that range on this task is the most convenient and efficient way to do it. Um, but if you have any comments, please throw them down below. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, especially if you want to see some more of these types of videos. Uh, let me know what task you guys struggle with and I can kind of help build a video of kind of showing you maybe a better way of doing the task or a safer way of doing the task. But as always guys, have a good one.